Jared, I'm gonna talk about the <laughs> Phillies playoff run last year. Um, I was there in San Diego game. I was there basically the whole series, Padres and the Phillies. Didn't go to the World Series, but explain that Phillies run. In game one, going back to Philly, one to one against the Padres. You know you can't go back to San Diego. You can't go back. So explain yeah. it. Just delve into it. So, you know, you've been on playoff runs before. It's high, high pressure situations. Uh, you know, win or go home. Not necessarily every game, but damn near it, man. Whether it's game one or game five, elimination game, it feels like it's win or go home no matter what. And we went to San Diego fully expecting, uh, you know, a packed house and we got it. And we go back to Philadelphia and we had already played um, a few games there and knowing the crowd that we were going to be getting going back to Philly, uh, it's you know, you guys have played in Philly, Kratz. You talked about playing in Philly. Uh, when you suck, Philadelphia will let you know. <laughs> Whether you're on the other team or on their team, they're going to let you know that you're that you're playing terribly. And that October run, people have been waiting for that for a decade, a little over a decade. And every time we went back home to play in those playoff games, we were fired up. And those fans brought it every single night. So going back there, playing against San Diego, I, I felt like even going into the World Series game six, going back to Houston down a game, uh, Bryce Harp said it best, you know, like, we're not fucking losing. And, you know, I, we didn't win the championship, but every game that we went into, uh, we felt like we were going to win every single baseball game uh, during that during that October run. And we had a lot of fun doing it, man. Ever heard a louder moment? When, when Bryce hit that ball, I was right behind. I was on the concession, on the concession. And I, I, vid, I still got the videotape, and I, but I was looking at it because I don't want to be the person who's looking at his tape. I was looking at it because I knew this. It means Suarez, <laughs> this moment. And he hit that ball. I mean, I'm a Padres fan, so I'm like, damn. As a baseball fan, I'm just looking around like, damn, at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys, I looked at your dugout. I mean, <laughs> everybody's jumping out. That's how that's how Dominican's gonna be against Shaw, just like no that, doubt. that exact moment. No doubt. That's what a base hit. That's what a a, a three hopper though up the middle. But explain yeah. that just that most that 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 bat just that just that moment because that's big. That's his obviously his mo biggest moment of his career. You got to share that with him. No doubt. And I I was you know I wasn't alive in 1980. I was alive uh, for the 08 uh, championship, but. Uh, I got to imagine that even though we did not win the World Series, that Philadelphia will hold on to that specific moment like you're talking about uh, forever. And we are not a team that comes out in front of the dugout on home runs or whatever. Uh, in that moment, you look at that dugout, and I don't think anybody knew where they were. It was uh, a, a, a flash moment where I think everyone in the dugout knows, you know, we call Harp the showman. Whenever there's a big, a big situation, that is the guy that you want coming to the plate. He loves a big moment. You feel like he's going to succeed every time he gets into the, one of those moments. And he capitalized on it. And the fact that he looked to our dugout, who is going absolutely – I mean, Reese borderline broke both of his legs going over the top of the <laughs> top rail and, and spinning in all sorts of ways. I've never seen him spin before. Uh, and Harp's just standing there calm – calm as hell and felt like he knew exactly what he was about to do he you know does the Phillies across the chest I mean borderline no emotion and he comes into the dugout afterwards and everyone's waiting for him to just kind of erupt and freak out and he's still calm calm as can be and he gets to the bat rack and all of us are kind of looking at him and he just goes I just fucking did that and all of us went nuts. I'm like, <laughs> finally, you realize the moment that just happened, dude. What the hell? Like, it was it was absurd. And like you're like you're saying, the, the stadium went nuts, and uh, just a huge moment in his career. And it's probably the, it's definitely the biggest one he's had so far. And it's going to be hard to top. But a guy like that, man, I, I wouldn't doubt it if he has another moment like that here in the future.